it started my own personal <clears throat> journey. Um, it started off wanting to be a book about prayers. <laughs> it started okay. off weird. My first idea of a book project would was um, I wanted to write a book to help me personally learn how to be more spiritual and more um, learn more scripture. And it just turned into me dealing with my life issues and me dealing with the different areas of my life that I felt I needed to work on. And um, when I was ready to put the book project together, uh, Women on the Rise itself is about collaborations. It's mm -hmm. about bringing in women and working with other women to help each other rise. So I had some amazing um, friends that are mm -hmm. in my circle and some of them are coaches that I've worked with. And I said, you know what? You ladies need to be in this book. I need your expertise. Mm -hmm. I need your guidance and your tools that you've helped me find um, in my search for life balance. So we got ourselves together and we each wrote a chapter in the anthology Life Balance for Women on the Rise. That is so cool. So did you kind of assign everyone their own here task, go ahead, you write, and then bring it all together? Or you did you do like a big writing session where everyone's kind of all together feeling the energy and writing? So I came up with con the concept for the book and uh, each of these authors are experts in their own rights already. They've already had pieces of work that they've probably written produce for their own business. Um, our financial expert in the book who wrote the chapter on um, finding life balance and finances, she's already a, a, a well experienced um, expert in mm -hmm. financial coaching. And so she already had the tools. I just wanted to get them all together and combine them into one great fantastic book that women could use. In each chapter, it's actually a real guide. You write out different things there each chapter gives you assessments for you to actually fill out for you to actually go deep in your mind and in your heart and really tell the truth about what your values are and what you're really doing in five key areas of your life wow <laughs> that's pretty good so what are the five key areas that we should definitely focus on if anyone has to take anything away and you're thinking about it what are some key things the five key areas are uh your life being the main area and then under that you have uh, mind and body spirituality finances uh, your relationships and your career and business so taking all of that those those are good yeah those, those are those. actually really good and they're actually listed right here but you know what we'll take a quick break we'll be right back but when we come back we're gonna go into elaborate a little bit more on this you're watching beyond focus tv stay right <laughs> you're watching Beyond Focus TV, I'm Lydia Patel. So Marsha, before we took the break, you know, you went into the details of what actually are the five things. Um, they're actually pretty good. They're Thank actually, you. I think it, it does create a balance. But let's kind of go into them. So what, what, how did you narrow it down to these five? Those are the areas for me. Again, I bring it back to me and I think that um, so many women, I, I connect and resonate with so many women. And mm -hmm. I find that um, these are areas that I'm hearing when my clients come to me, these are the areas where they're losing focus. Mm -hmm. Their career and their business, there's, they, there's no clarity there. Mm -hmm. They need to get clarity on direction. Are they, direction. Are they in the right career? So in the book, in the chapter for career and business, our um, expert Monique, who's been in HR for over 20 years, she really helps you um, make those assessments. Are you really go deep? Are you in the right career? What What are some of the things that you love to do and perhaps that you can take your career into those areas and make a hmm. transition? Um, and even it, uh, in terms of creating a business for yourself. You know, people think that, oh my God, I need money, so let me start a business. It's not that easy and that and that's not why you should start a business you mm -hmm. need a passion you need to create a business from a passion having a passion for something 
brings the money. The money just follows. When you have a passion and you do things from your heart, it just works out easy that way. Absolutely. And um, spirituality is something that I've always, you know, uh, having a deeper connection with God and have um, finding balance in your spirituality. And our pastor, Kimberly Clemens Jones, is the author of Spirituality Chapter. And she really teaches you that the releases of stress and calming you down and finding that inner center and teaching takes you through exercises for you to oh my goodness breathe breathing exercises de-stressing decompressing and um finding the word learning scripture um she really connects you in a very uh very great way even if you're um regardless of whatever religion faith, yeah. and faith you mm -hmm. are. Um, it's really about um, stress factors and having a connection with your inner self. Um, our finance chapter is really great. It, it, Vanessa takes you through her personal journey in her relationship with money. You know we have a relationship with money. Mm -hmm. You know that some people are very disrespectful with money. As Susie Oman would say, we are disrespectful with money. And Vanessa really helps you kind of be honest. Be honest about what your relationships are, um, where you got those habits. You, you may have learned those habits from yeah. a place you, you didn't even consider at the age that you are now that those habits that you probably grew up with a lot of things are just passed down because we don't down. know better and as a community we're, I, I wish we were taught a little more financial literacy yeah just as a community together because especially if we, I've worked and have been with other people who come from money but the whole reason how they're a family of money because they're taught how they're to taught keep that at a young age too Teach your children. Like, teach your children how to respect money. Instead of, um, I don't know what they call it in, um, in the French Caribbean islands, but in the English islands, susu. You know, oh those Lord, little, yes. those little. We call it susu or sang. I'm Haitian, so it, it's it's there's there's a name for get, it. In get every a four hundred one k. Do a real savings. <laughs> Do a real savings That is plan. not a savings. Start a fi what, 509, 509B um, or, yes. or whatever it is for your children, their plans that could help you start small. 20, That's why I was left like, oh, I've got my susu. No, <laughs> that is not a savings. <laughs> and that is passed down. And Christmas Club in America. It was called the Christmas Club. I remember, oh, my God, years ago, my first um, stint in corporate America, the women would have a Christmas Club in, in the corporate office. And that's how they would save to um, throughout the, the fall to get money to buy Christmas gifts for nope. their families. That's not that's not saving. That's great. You could put that in the kitty for you right. could have that. Rainy but you day. should still have something legit. Yes. And that, I think that's just little things that generation like as we grow and we're here and we're Caribbean American and you know every generation that's here mm -hmm. gets smarter. Absolutely wiser. You know, and that's what the, th these chapters are exactly great examples for women to break down barriers in those taboo areas, mm -hmm. uh, mind and body. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, people don't talk about mental health. Mm -hmm. This uh, our, depression, our, postpartum, all those things that are very real. much normal, and it's real. It's real. But it needs to be dealt with in order for you to thrive and body shaming. You know, body is. shaming. It, it, Oh, Hilda, our mind and body specialist, talks about that. She talks about her experiences in that, in those areas, and how she had to train herself mm -hmm. uh, because she was body shamed when she was a young kid. She talked about that in the book, and so that's why this book is fantastic. You have stories. The authors are giving you their real life stories, and they're giving you. Tips and tools. I love it. How do we get this book? How does everyone at home? How does the Beyond Focus TV family get their hands on this book? You can get the book. The book is actually on Amazon right now, um, Amazon.com, and just look, uh, do a search for mm -hmm. Life Balance for the Woman on the Rise, and you could also order it directly from me, the publisher, because okay. we are self-published uh, at www.womanontherise.ny.com. All right, great. And there's an email address if they have questions or comments and they want to get in touch with you. Absolutely. Bulk orders, you can certainly do that. We do, we do, we do workshops. You can email us at info at womanontherise.ny.com. 
That is perfect. And I'm sure you're on social media. All Absolutely. that good stuff. Absolutely. Women on the Rise and why? You'll find us on Facebook. You'll find us on Twitter at W O T R N Y and on Instagram at Women on the Rise and why. So how's the social game really been for you? I mean, that's such a great way to connect with women all over the world who are outside of here. So it's just so much fun. It's been amazing. It has its ups and its downs. Mm -hmm. Um, It really can consume you if you don't be careful and find that balance. You have to balance even your social media Mm -hmm. uh, interactions. But it has been a great source of connection and networking for me. I've met so dozens of just really inspiring women like yourself. Sharon, I met through social media. Uh, We do have a lot of friends in common. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, we've never met in person. And social media helps you bring all these people together. So it's been really amazing for me and uplifting to to meet like-minded women. That's that's always what we want. So guys, before we let her go, this is the book you can get on Amazon or like she said directly from womenonthewiseny.com. You'll be able to get that there, but it's been so inspiring to have you here, Marsha. So Thank you much. so much. Looking forward to having you back again. Thank you. It'd be definitely my pleasure. Definitely want to get an update in 2018, see what's going on and, and definitely check in on the book. Okay? I have a lot of great things in store. Thank you for having You're me. You're very welcome. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you can send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. I'm your host, Lydia Patel. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be back again next week. Same time, same place. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us. Beyond Focus TV show wants and needs your feedback. Did we blunder? Please let us know so we can improve. Was the show helpful to you? Drop us a note so we can share the success with our staff members. Is there something you think we could do better? We welcome new ideas and new approaches to old ideas. Do you have a great suggestion? Let us know, and we'll work on it. If you would like to share your comments anonymously, please send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. If you want to get in touch with the executive producer directly, send him an email at gene at beyondfocusmedia.com. We really look forward to hearing from you.